when you started your business everything was going well you were making money you were getting customers you're getting referrals things were going so well until it wasn't you went from getting customers almost every day to barely getting one a week if that's the situation that you're currently in right now make sure to stick around till the end of the video because i'm going to be sharing with you what you should do in order to pick up those sales in order to start getting customers again what startup business owners usually do when they get to this point is they're going to think of adding a new service or adding a new product in order to raise their sales again but what usually happens is the same thing so you will have this new product people will be hyped about it you will tell people about this new product that you're bringing in and then after some time you plateau again so now you're not making sales again which means the issue isn't the services that you're offering or rather the amount of services or products that you're offering it's how you are marketing your business how you are able to actually keep the customers that actually bought the first time Get them to actually come back. That's where your problem is. And even if you have so many products, even if you have so many services, if you're not able to actually do that, if you're not able to get people to keep coming back and find a way to get new customers as well, you're going to always have the same problem. It doesn't matter how many products you're going to bring in. So please make sure you don't make the mistake of actually trying to add in a new service or add in a new product. What you should be doing instead, identifying what the problem actually is. Because here's the thing. If you're able to actually get someone to buy from you the first time, it shouldn't be so hard to get the you to get them to actually buy the second time depending also on the product or service that you're offering but if you're having a really hard time with retaining your customers you need to find out what is it that's actually the problem why is it that people are not coming back again identify what the problem is because only once you know what the problem actually is can you actually fix it the best way of actually finding out is genuinely asking people hey uh you bought from me the first time what did you think of the product do you think you'd come back the second time what is it that you wanted were your expectations met ask people do not be afraid to get feedback from people because it was only through the feedback that you're going to get from people that you can actually better your products or services because if you're not getting any feedback you think everything is going well yet your customers or your clients are not satisfied with what you actually brought to them on the note of actually getting feedback from people something else that you need to realize the importance of getting feedback is the fact that through feedback you're actually able to then build your testimonials this is another way that you're going to use to actually um, attract new clients because through showing people case studies and showing people testimonials reviews you're able to show that people were satisfied with your product and attract new clients or customers through that something else that i'd actually love to suggest that you actually do in order to retain your clients in order to get your clients or your customers to come back is incentive you need to actually get people to come back give them something that's going to entice them to want to come back to be a customer again what do you do here are some examples i've seen so many small business owners who have thank you cards and on the thank you cards they write you know the next purchase they give a discount code or a promo code so that they're going to get 10 percent off 20 percent off this is a way to make sure that someone is going to come back the second time because they're trying to get that discount they're trying to use that thank you card that you gave them that is an incentive that you can use think of something some incentive that you can give people so that they keep coming back because your issue here is your retention rate it is not good you need to fix it up because if you fail to make it through this stage in your business i can tell you now you're going to end up having to shut down your business so find ways very creative ways to get your customers to keep coming back because they are the ones who are most likely to actually come back if someone has bought from you the first time there's a higher chance of them actually buying from you again so if they're not actually buying from you again there's a problem problem you need to identify and find a way to actually fix it once you fix that you will see your sales you will see new customers actually coming in and the old customers coming back again and more referrals as well now that we've spoken about what to do when your business has plateaued when you are not making sales and getting customers I have a video that is going to help you through what you need to know about starting a business these are mindset tips that i'm going to be sharing with you because i know that you're experiencing this right now especially because you clicked on this video clearly you're experiencing it and i want to share with you some ways that you can actually deal with some things that you're going through in your business journey so make sure that you actually go and watch the video right after this one i will see you there